In the last video, we discussed five verses from the book of Proverbs to transform our thinking for the better. And in this video, we are discussing five more. Let's jump right in with Proverbs 11:12. Whoever belittles his neighbor lacks sense, but a man of understanding remains silent. It has taken me many years to understand the wisdom behind this verse. You see, when you belittle someone in any way, it's often due to a problem you have with yourself. You're feeling down, so naturally you want to put someone else down too. Maybe you're feeling inadequate compared to others. Maybe you're feeling guilt or shame for something you've done, or simply feel hopeless for fulfillment in your life. If you find yourself belittling someone, or even thinking about belittling someone, I challenge you to be honest with yourself and ask why you have this desire to put someone down. And instead of belittling them, seek solutions to your unresolved problems. The next verse is 14:10. The heart knows its own bitterness, and no stranger shares its joy. We can try to empathize with people, but we will never know exactly how someone feels. We can try to cheer up a friend and say we know what it's like to lose our job, lose a loved one, or feel hopeless for our future, but it could be potentially harmful to your friend if they aren't overcoming the hardship as fast as you did. Instead of assuming you know what someone's going through, it would be wiser to admit you truly don't and simply be there for them when they need you. The next verse is Proverbs 14:14. 14, 14. The backslider in heart will be filled with the fruit of his ways, and a good man will be filled with the fruit of his ways. This verse reminds us of the power of identity. Your consistent actions comes from the way you see yourself. For example, you can identify as a selfish person, yet every once in a while think of others, but because you identify as a selfish person, you'll eventually backslide and go back to your selfish ways. However, if you identify as a selfless person, a person who cares for others more than yourself, every once in a while you'll behave selfishly, but don't be too critical of yourself when this happens, because all you need to do is change course and go back to the selfless person you know you truly are. The next proverb is 14:15. The simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thoughts to his steps. Whenever you hear information, it is wise to examine it before blindly accepting it. For example, let's say a coworker of yours tells you that the company is going down and everyone is losing their jobs. Instead of panicking, you could first examine the information. Are you hearing the information from a credible person? This person could be seeking attention and made the whole thing up. Before you make any big decision, give it some deep thought and ideally seek wise counsel on what to do before acting. And the last proverb for this video is 14:23. In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. I don't know about you, but I've spent a lot of my life daydreaming and fantasizing about all the great things I would do with my life. It's incredibly exciting to escape your boring reality and briefly enter a fantasy where you're the person you want to be without exerting any effort. But simply thinking and talking about doing something means nothing until you actually do it. I've learned over the years, it's okay to have big dreams, but you have to follow them up with small, consistent actions or these dreams will never come to pass. A key mission for this channel is to transform your thinking for the better, but this new and improved thinking needs to be followed up with new and improved actions or we're simply wasting our time. I'd love to hear about your dreams, but more importantly, I'd love to hear about what you're doing right now to take a step closer to following through on those dreams. Let me know in the comments below the actions you're taking today. Also, if you're getting value from this video, consider watching the Proverbs playlist I've made for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.